Okay, this is going to be an instructional video on how to build my butterfly engine as you see on my YouTube channel. The components you are going to need are four 1x8 bricks with holes in them, two 2x2 two two bricks, 14 1x8 bricks, 13 one by six bricks and a eight by eight plate. To start, you take two one by eights and you just place them on top of the one eight by eight. Then you flip it over and take your two two one by twos and you place them along any of the 1x8s. This will be your intake. Then you just build the cylinder. Okay, now when you're done with all your 1x6s and 1x8s, you take the remaining 1x8s and see how there is this lone 1x6? Make sure this is facing up. This is the top of your cylinder. This is the bottom of your cylinder. You just place them like this. This is your cylinder. Now to the crankshaft. You're going to need six one by four plates, two one by two plates, eight two by two plates. Six two by six plates, four one two by two round plates with the holes in the center. Make sure they're the thin ones, not the fat ones, because that will not work. Four two by eight plates with the holes in eight one by one dots if you want to call them that. And if you do not have these, there is a way of getting around these. And I will show you that while we're building the crank. To start, you take one of your two by twos and you t place it at the center of the two by eight. And you take your one by two and you put it below that. Then you take your second two by two, place it below the one by two then, if you do not have many of the one by one dots, you take a second two by two and place it below here so that you can use the tall one by one dots. I mean, not the dots, the bricks, like so. But anyways, continuing on, we place the 1x4 brick here, then you put the dots on the back, like that, 
and you put a 2x6 below that. And you take 2x2s, place it on 2x6 like that, 2x8 on top of everything. The remaining dots on top of the 1x4. This is where the 1x1 one one brick would come, in, come into play. It's the same width. Then you take a 1x4, place it on top of the dots. Same on the other side. Take two by twos. One, two by sixes on top of the two by twos. And you just built a crank with a counterweight. And you mirror this make the other one and then you're going to need a five long rod and two half bushings to make the uh, rod that connects them and to make the piston it's simply a six by six plate and a 40 tooth gear placed on top of the studs and I do not know what length this rod is, but I'm sure with a little bit of troubleshooting, I bet you could get this, because I'm not quite sure. Actually, one second. Back in. Okay, it's a 10 long the rod that connects to the piston is a 10 long. Then you take one of these and place it on the other end. Slip it onto the five long rod with a half bushing on the one side and another on the other. Then you take your cranks and you just place them on either end. You now have a crank and a piston. Now the base is fairly simple. You're going to need two 1x16s with the holes in them, two 1x6s with the holes in them, two 1x10s with the holes in them, and 10 pins, black pins. And to build this, it's fairly simple. take your 15 your 16 and you put a pin at the end and on the fifth hole in on the other side and you take your 1 by 10 with three pins in it one on the first hole third hole and the first hole on the other side place it like so and you take your 1 by 6 and you place it on the pin on the end. It's okay if this is loose because this is where your axle is gonna go. Then you take and you build a base. And then you mirror this. So you have two like this, 